Lisa in here to help you get up off the couch and get into action because so often we know what we should be doing, we just can't get ourselves to do any of it. So what I want to talk to you about today is we are right on the edge of summer and for some of us that means a totally, let's just, let's just say it like it is, a totally screwed up schedule when it comes to your fitness and your health. So if you're used to going to the gym after work or whatever it is, maybe the gym isn't available to you, maybe your kids are home for the summer, you know, it could be any number of things, but I'm hearing about screwed up summer schedules a lot. So I definitely want to address it before we take this any further. So the first thing is just a little reminder that this is not a death. This is a new beginning. It's a new, summer is awesome. I mean, it's raining today, but it's still pretty out, right? So <laughs> this is an opportunity to challenge yourself to get into action. So look at it if you can, you know, shift your perspective as this is something fun. This is exciting. Summer is good. Okay. I'm going to give you a few tips to help you get around the whole screwed up schedule thing. So the first thing for those of you who are going on vacations or have a summer house or, you know, whatever it is, you find yourself literally, you know, somewhere else, you're, you're removed from your usual routine physically, geographically, then, you know, pretty much everywhere has a summer special going on. So look at this as an opportunity to try something new. If you are curious about bar, there's, there are pure bar uh, little boutique <laughs> gyms popping up everywhere. So go sign up for whatever their summer special is. Try it out. Um, you know, there's that, I keep hearing about Orange Theory or something like that. Same, same sort of deal, little boutique gym things. Go, go see what they've got going on for the summer. They're like everywhere now. There's Pilates places, there's privately owned gyms. The big gyms also offer summer specials. Um, of course, I'm partial to Equinox and Lifetime Fitness, so if you're around one of those, definitely check them out. But look at it as an opportunity to try something new. Okay, so number two, if the group scene isn't your thing, if you know, you feel like they, <laughs> some of those boutique gyms may seem to charge too much. If it's just not your thing for whatever reasons, finances or time commitment or, you know, you just don't like to hear, to be around a bunch of people, then no big deal. You can find something to do at home. So go on YouTube. Have you checked this out? There are so many fitness videos on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, join my tribe group. I put up a different 10 minute workout video every week and uh, you can mix and match them, do what you need to do. Really, honestly, I feel 10 minutes is the minimum that you need. And I, I mean, I really don't think you need to be putting in two hours here and there to go to the gym. Just do something that shifts your energy, that makes you feel good, you know, makes you feel productive. And most importantly, just carve out the time because that's the main habit. Once you carve out the time for yourself, then you can fill it with whatever you want. But as far as the screwed up summer schedules, like I said, um, before, look at it as an opportunity to try something new. Find new YouTube videos. Check out Gaiam TV. That's G A I A M, right? TV.com. Just Google it. And they have, I'm not a member, um, but it's definitely on my list of things to check out. There's like yoga online, there's all kinds of things online that you can do. I have my Fit and Healthy University, I'll link to it below, that you can join for less than 20 bucks a month 
and I'll give you a weekly, either 45 minutes to an hour long fitness class every week, and they're recorded. So that comes out to $5 a class, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff mixed in. So if, if finances are one of your issues, then that's definitely a good option for you. Um, but I've just thrown out like tons of options. There's absolutely no reason to, you know, feel like you can't work out. Like tons of stuff. I just, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll link to everything um, in the notes below too. Okay, so there's one more thing. The last thing, and this is the most important, otherwise nothing will happen, is you need to be accountable for what it is that you decide to do. Because if you just say, oh yeah, I'm going to try this bar class, oh yeah, I'll try Miranda's online class, maybe I'll try yoga online, whatever, if you just say it, nothing's going to happen. So you've got to carve out the time, literally. Write it down, or if you're an electronic person, then, you know, type it in to your little gidget. Did I just say that? Yeah, so I'm a writing down person, if you couldn't tell. So write it down, type it in, do what you got to do, but make it concrete. Put it in your schedule, and then you will be more likely to make it happen. And as far as accountability goes, Go to your accountability partner or your accountability team or whoever backs you up and um, tell them what you're planning to do. Because that way, even if they just stand there and look at you like, huh? You're more likely to do it. Just because you said it out loud and you wrote it down and you typed it in, all those things make it more concrete. You are more likely to go and get it done. Well, if you don't have an accountability partner or an accountability team backing you up, then please don't hesitate to join my Fit and Healthy Tribe, that uh, my group online. It's totally free, and like I said, I put up the 10-minute workout videos once a week, so you're covered totally for free if you do that, and you have the accountability uh, system backing you up. So. Don't take no for an answer from yourself. Just decide that you're going to dig your heels in for the summer. You're going to enjoy it. Take this as a chance to try something new. And I look forward to meeting you and getting to know you better in the tribe. All right, see you next week. Bye for now.